uh, we kind of like, you know, picked on him a little bit. Uh, but as we went through school, the, the weird part about being that close together is everybody recognizes you as somebody else's brother. They're like, oh, you're Hal's brother. And then when Ethan came along, they're like, oh, you're Heath's brother. Ethan was never going through middle school and going through high school his own person, it seemed like. Obviously, he had his friends, a lot of y'all are here, that were more so than for me and my older brother. Um, but as we went through high school and everything, we started talking about college. We started talking about where we were going to go, because uh, naturally, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. And so um, I decided to go to UNC Pembroke when I graduated. And, you know, a year went on, and Ethan started looking at different places where he wanted to go. And ultimately, he decided to go to UNC Pembroke, too. And I was so against it, not from, like, I don't want my little brother at my college where I'm trying to party or anything like that. It was more of, you know, Ethan went through all of school being one of the other Nunn brothers, not being Ethan Nunn. And so I was worried and I was anxious about how Ethan was going to survive in that kind of mentality. I guess I thought very highly of myself, which is boring. <laughs> so I remember getting to college, Ethan got there, you know, I kind of walked him around a little bit and showed him where everything was. And um, at the time we were both in campus ministries, I decided to go to a different one. He was at another one just so he could lay his own path. And so that was so interesting to see that it was like, okay, bye, good riddance, you know, go do your thing. We'll drive home during Thanksgiving and Christmas break, and that'll be how it is. But it was in that moment when I allowed, I allowed, when Ethan and I kind of went our separate ways, that we, quote unquote, stopped being brothers, but we found a friendship in one another. And so through all of that experience with Ethan, I watched Ethan grow. I watched him grow from Hal's brother, from Heath's brother, to Ethan. And I saw what the Lord was doing in Ethan's life and how the Lord was preparing somebody for Ethan, but they were also preparing Ethan for somebody. Um, I always heard all of these things. You hear like when you're getting married, that you marry, the guy marries their mom, quote unquote. And the mom or the, the daughter marries their dad. Me and Rachel, my wife, can attest to that. We see it in so many instances, we're like, oh my goodness, like this is so similar to what your dad does while we're the same person and things like that. And so um, when I thought of somebody for Ethan, I was like, somebody needs to take care of Ethan. They don't need to be a mom to Ethan. They need to take care of Ethan. And I'm like, those are big shoes that nobody would be able to fill. I knew that without a doubt. I was like, good luck to whoever marries Ethan because they have their work cut out for them. And then we met Hannah. Ooh. And we talked to Hannah. We got to know Hannah. We saw how Ethan was after he met Hannah, even if we hadn't met Hannah at the time. Mm -hmm. How Ethan interacted with her, how she cared for him in a way that a mother could, but even more so than that, as a partner, as somebody for the rest of his life. And so watching Ethan go through that and meet Hannah and progress to where we are, I was like, well, shoot, I just got to get my foot out of my mouth because literally there is nobody else but Hannah. Hannah and Ethan, they were literally the two people for each other. And so uh, I'm just so honored to have another nun girl in the family. Um, and so I'm so happy that Ethan and Hannah have gotten together. It's been very fun watching him this past year. I'm sure uh, Hannah babying him in some things, but also being really difficult on him in other things as well. Um, but I'm so thankful for their, their lives, their commitment to Christ, their commitment to each other, and uh, really for what Ethan and Hannah are to me, um, brothers and sisters-in-law, but friends to me and Rachel. And so with all of that being said, a toast to the happy couple of Ethan and Hannah Nunn. Cheers. Cheers.